But that was a roll silence. That was a helpful grip. I need a target. No, what? You scare me. Okay, let's go. What the hell is playing it risky? Updating LVI. Uh oh. Why is that risky? I've had it come with bugs before, or change something that I'm like, what? going on. Oh, don't jinx me, Necro. How are you? It's... I think that's actually just happened once. But after that, I'm just like, eh, I'm gonna do it on an off night or something. Safe travels. I don't need a summon. Grenard, I'm already at the aggro mark, just putting markers. Oh, oh you zoom by. I get freaking invis. I have many lucky dudes. Thanks. <laughs> Holy shit, Rexer. <laughs> yeah, we put the balls moving 20 balls. I will give everybody one minute. Okay, yeah. I will Six take seven. your optimism with, a, with some some grain of salt. I can see it now on the 20th pull. We're about to kill and Death just like jumps off the platform. <laughs> it's somebody, or uh... Speedy. Uh, someone who's got to share the technique with Gora, please. Uh, it's in the reading resource. You can see the pin, uh, in the pin channel, and okay. the, the, the the pin message. Which is, by the way, something that will be mandatory. So, we got a. Uh, uh Agramar technique and we'll go from there. What is it what is Agramar technique? Hmm? Hold on, I'll just check it that thing. We go us for Agramar technique.
Holy shit, that is not a Wicora. That's almost a whole screen. Yeah, but it's very important that you are aware of what's going on during the technique. Okay. As you command my leash. I'm gonna pull this guy. I don't think your, your freaking t-shirt will get away with it. She will not get away with that. You guys hear me? Top mic today, though. So. Oh boy, this will be uh, this will be interesting. Can you get another stone down? Oh, it's right there. My bad.
Alrighty, it's 8. So, uh, I'll start doing the explanation for... Uh, I'll start doing the explanation. And mostly it's only going to be for Phase 1 and Phase 2. This will be our, our main goal, because this fight is going to take a lot of attempts. It is going to be learning a lot about all the all the ability, how everything has changed, and how the timing will be for phase one and phase two. So make sure that for I would say the next ten to fifteen minutes that you pay extra attention to what I'm saying because there's a lot to talk about and <clears throat> Pretty much, if someone is mispositioned, if someone is not doing every, something correctly, they will die. And more than likely, we'll be bringing a couple people with them. So, it's very important that everyone is aware of what's going on. So, I know that sometimes my explanations are very long and a little daunting, but please bear with me. So... The main the main difference for this fight will be most uh, for phase one it's going to be mostly the technique and uh, the scorching blaze that is now ravenous blaze. Um, Going to be uh, talking first about the ravenous blaze. Just a near we uh, just a dot on you that deal some damage that either will be healing through. Uh, Crenard posted in the healing channel where either will be remotely positioned. So I'll just be changing the group accordingly. No, the group are changed. That's fine. So we're good with that. Uh, for Ravenous Blaze, it, the, the main thing that is going to be uh, painful for everyone is the increasing circle that will be with you as you have the dot on you. Uh, you see the purple the X, the star, the circle, and the moon is pretty much where you should be going. Because this circle, as it's expanding, if anyone else stand in those circle, they are going to die. And we need to leave the middle as clean as possible. So for the range and for the eaters, it's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with it, but Realistically, the, the the best case scenario that you can uh, do with those blades is drag them on the edge and everyone that doesn't have the blaze skew towards the middle to deal with it. For the technique, there is a weak aura that is in the reading resource, in the pin message. I need every single one of you to get it. Because the technique, compared to Heroic, is randomized in the way that there's four or five possible ways that the technique will happen. I will link it and read. Just give me a sec. You need to have this active. It's big. It has a lot of uh, it has a lot of square. It feels like it's a little weird, but this is going to be something that you need to learn and pretty much take it as it's the holy bible for this fight. For the technique, uh, first they are randomized, and each ability throughout phases will get empowered. The first one that is empowered is Flame Ram which leave the same kind of dot that it's leaving on the tank. So we cannot have everyone soaking both flame ran. We need to have a group. Uh, we need to have two groups to do that. First group will be melee with Cody. Second group will be everyone else. The way that we will deal with the, with the technique is that you will, the range and the eater that is not Cody will be staying away from the boss and just continue pelting until the first flame run happen. When that happen, the range will start collapsing towards the middle. And for the melee, when they need to avoid the second flame run, they will be going on the side of the boss. Because if you take another one, you're gonna die. 
And considering that the the technique is kind of randomized, let's say that the first uh, the first hit can be either a tank debuff or a raid, uh, a group debuff. So make sure that uh, you are on the ball on this. And first flame run, it's always going to be the melee and Cody. Second flame run, it's going to be everyone else. That is what? not critty question about that are, yeah. so like is all melee going to be on the left side tanks are going to face him towards the left side when the first flame run comes in everybody else moves over to the right side or is it just like a personal recognizance thing take it like the they're going to turn them around behind and everybody stacks behind the boss the boss will be tanked pretty much where a triangle is and you will be punted towards the middle so the the, the positioning for taking the flame run will be towards the middle but when it's going to be the second one, you need to uh, position yourself so that you don't take it. So even if it means that you have to move in front of the boss for uh, one or two seconds to make sure that you don't take it, then so be it. Gotcha. So that's about it for this. And that's going to be for phase one. For phase, uh, for when we get to the intermission, uh, the way that we will do this, since we have 2DKs, uh, do I have enough marker for this? Uh, do we have an extra marker somewhere? No. Okay, I'll be moving the skull and just leave it as a... As a whatchamacallit, just, uh, just for transition. The two flame ad, the two big big ad will be dragged towards blue and triangle. They will be tanked over there. The two flame, the two amber that will be spawning in that side uh, will be grip each of them towards uh, skull, and they will be uh, exploding at the same time. So raid need to be stacked. Uh, we're going to start on the blue side. You all need to be stacked there. We will have a barrier. We will have Cody's uh, aura mastery for this and possibly a shout for this. We're going to be taking two stack of blazing eruption and just ill through it. Which two so, edge are we gripping in? Triangle and... The one that will be spawning close to, tri uh, close to blue and close to triangle. The, the other ad, uh, for now, we won't be doing anything to them. We will just see if we have the DPS to push it before they are reaching Agrimar. If we don't, we're going to be slowing them. Oh, and also for uh, DPS, uh, this is a complete single target fight. So don't even think about padding on the ads. Like the Amber, don't even think about it at all so just complete single target and don't even touch the ad that's pretty much how it's going to be because the 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 the, the, the gist of the fight will be ad management and this is going this is the reason why we have critty on his dk and that why he is a tank he won't be actively tanking the boss it will only be bandaging the ad and for druid and priest make sure that you are expected to shining force and typhoon this will be required for this because critty will be the one that will be corralling all the ad together never reaching the middle point and he will be calling for specific cooldown. So he will say uh, Synergy, Shining Force. Uh, he will do it. He will say, let's say, at uh, Typhoon. You make sure that you go towards the middle and you Typhoon them away from the boss. And so, uh, so on and so forth. So for now, we're going to be going with this. Uh, for now, no. We won't be using the Corruption Slow. We're going to be going without, because we do have enough CC that we can 
slow them pretty much all the time and knock them back all the time. So no worries about that. And that's going to be a boost on your DPS as well, since you won't have to do that. So group three will be mostly on the purple red side and group four, you will be on the circle moon side. So make sure that you're spread the same way as you would be spread for Scorching Blaze, and whenever you get the Ravenous Blaze, go towards the edge. Go towards one edge, and make sure that those that do not have the Ravenous Blaze, that you move towards the middle. To make sure that you avoid the, the Ravenous Blaze. But after that, make sure that you go back to your position. And also, Critty, for uh, ad management, they should never be crossing skull. Where are we taking the ball from? On triangle. Oh, okay. Well, for the the first phase, it doesn't really matter too much. You can just tank him where he is. But for phase two and phase three, you will be keeping the boss on triangle. Uh, before we start, is there any other question? I will take that silence as a no, and we are going to be starting the zillips. So for now, just worry about phase one, just worry about the intermission, worry about the actual mechanic that will be affecting us. Don't think about phase three. Don't think about the intermission. Don't think about phase two. Just think about what we have to deal with right now, which is ravenous plays and techniques. After that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna be worrying about uh, about the rest. Oh. Cannot use Ventus at the moment because most of us have a, a room for Coven, so uh, so we won't be uh, won't be using Ventus for now because what we need is just learning the fight. Like I'm not expecting a kill tonight. For now, my goal would be I would say getting some good progression on phase two and. That's about it. Maybe at least getting the first transition done and getting the ang of uh, dealing with uh, ad management. This 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 is my expectation for tonight. So DPS, don't worry too much about it. Just see how the mechanics are, learn how the mechanics are uh, are dealt with, and that will be the and that and that, and I will be happy about tonight. Uh, yes, Necro. Let's see. I can't use that item yet. But let's see. Uh, Chrono, are you good? Still recharging. Uh, yeah. Speedy, can you come over it's here? Not so we can yet. Form areas and not get people. Yeah. I can't use that item yet. All right, everyone is ready. It's not ready yet. Who's starting with them first, Speedy or Necro? I'll leave in first. Uh, I'm sorry. I before we start, I have a question. Uh, how many people do we have with the with the, with the mythic uh, with the mythic uh, trinket? I think I'm, am I the only one or not? With the Pantheon trinket? Yes. Um, At this point, pretty much everyone should add it. No, no, no. The the other one, the the the. Oh, uh, the 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 legendary uh, one. Yes. Uh, Auric. has one. I don't know if it works or not. Auric has one. Okay. Auric has one. Yeah, Auric has it. Because I think that for, for this one, High Fathers would be better. I mean, for me, for me, but I don't know. I mean, yeah, he's wearing it. Okay. I mean, it's better the more people wear it, but if you've got, I don't know. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll getting a but getting an IR uptime on the empowerment, I'm pretty sure, is going to be better than your High Fighter. I know that it won't 
look good on your meter, oh, but no, for the race... This is free healing, but whatever, I'll use, I'll use the other one. Okay. Alright, so everyone is ready. Let's try this out. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, I guess I'm taking it. Raid one, so that one was a uh, belly that needed to turn it. You're still alive? Oh. Or not. But then, no tank that was good. That one was three. the second tank. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, that one was raid, then out, then tank tank, then uh, second flame red. Good no job with the ravenous place though. Nothing can stop our crusade! It was under 92%. Yeah, but it was like right around it though, so... It was like 91 point something. Yeah, he had a good guess. So you you've, seen, you've seen the Ravenous Blaze, how it's, uh, how it's expanding. That's what you need to avoid. That took me by surprise, like, how quickly it grew up. Alright, so Speedy, it seems like... As soon as somebody is getting the stacks that we'll taunt on, they'll be doing the first technique. So do we want to just, like, swap? Uh, we can. Yeah, that's fine. I can take the first one. Yeah, okay. Did that knock you back? Oh, it did. I just glided, but I got stuck in the thing. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it'll knock me off the platform, if I should spec into charge. Uh, it will knock you off the platform. Okay. But it's recoverable if you can charge, maybe. Yeah, on the on that on that first two, it's going to be on the tank to be on the ball to make sure that you know. Okay, I need to turn it for a melee. Or I need to keep it for the tank, the tank debuff. All right, everyone's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. You will burn! Four, three. One. Oh, Two. One. Two. Tank. Right. Raid. AoE. Then tank. Then raid. Next one is tank. After that, it's everyone else that is not a melee. Melee, get out. Melee, get out. You're gonna die. Ravenous blaze, deal with the blade. Then we have the deck. Cheers first. Yeah, I got it. Tank. Next one will be melee, then tank, then everyone else. I just ran with the Go to green. Bye bye, blue. 
don't want to walk in yet. Oh, jeez. Well, that's not good. You had no hope of victory. Nothing can stop our crusade. Okay, so wicked Cody, you've seen what uh, why you died, dude. That was way wider than I thought. I like went off to the side. I'm like, okay, I should be good. Nope. Oh no, you need to be pretty much in front. So I'm expecting that Ant probably displays her bees and just jump off. No, no, no. I misjudged the distance, uh, but it wasn't special beast. Okay. So what it does is the second one is always going to be like two options. Yes. Because it's the first. The first one will. The first one will always be either. The tank or the raid that will be that will need to soak. Second one is always going to be either whichever option didn't happen in the first one or the AOE that we need to move out. And then the other one are going to be uh, pretty much set. But okay, that first order is uh, is dependent on who gets like the the diva, right? It's it's completely random about the the technique. Yes, yes, yes. But it, I mean, when you say melee or tank or something, it's because somebody has a debuff, right? And it, it needs to happen in a certain way. Yeah. If if I call, let's say that it's going to be tank, so that's the full breaker that the tank has to soak alone. Gotcha. Okay, got it. I got it. If I call for melee, that's the first first that that's the first flame ram that they need to soak. That the range and other eater that is not Cody, don't worry about. After that, then we can see it's going to be, let's say that it's tank, then melee. The next one will be AOE, then it's going to be uh, tank, then it's going to be the second flame run. So it's different from Heroic, where it's, it's on a specific order. This mm -hmm. time it's not that it that's the reason for for the weak aura because even though it's random there's only a specific set a specific set of a bit of uh five ability that can happen i think there's four or five but it's always dependent on what the first two are after that everything else is uh set in stone and it can never go uh flame run flame run so yeah you have you have time that is the reason why it's kind of easy to make a weak aura about it because for trough for that because you can never have two flame ran back to back that would be just way too quick Also, in the case that uh, one of the DK die, uh, don't grip, don't grip the ad. Just let the tank move the uh, the ad on top of the other of the other ad, and then we can, uh, and then they will get together. Because the, the 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 reasoning is that we need to have those two ads get in Agramar at the same time. We're gonna be using food for the, for the learning process, right? Uh, what's up? Uh, we're not gonna be using food for the learning process. Up to you. If you want to use, uh, if you want to use food, go for it. But for now, we're not going to be uh, wasting food on the on learning. Understood. Yes, uh, we can. You will be gripping pretty much where a little in front of where Agramar is. Like pretty much just follow. Uh, actually, actually, I'm just gonna be uh, putting a marker on the uh, on Critty. So let's see. He's gonna have a diamond on him. So just be on top of diamond and just grip whichever ad he is not gripping on either blue or triangle. All right. So Boris is ready. So everyone is ready.
Then a we then uh, right. Just take the take the. Oh, it's almost like ninety-two percent. Four, three, two, one. Shit, I didn't get that. I'm over towards the left side. Sure. Maybe it's uh, the body cam. Cannot command. Alright, so whoever is going to be doing the first, uh, is going to be tanking for the first technique. Just make sure that you are quick on your feet to either keep it or turn it for the, for, uh, for the melee. By the way, um, um, this is fun. I think I kill a hunter next to me. If you see somebody else getting that, hoof it. Don't don't wait. Hoof it. Run, 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 run. Everyone else. Tank, then those that did not take the flame ram, go and kill it. Such a worthless opponent. I, 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 Get towed up. Is going to be tank, tank, and range. Transition. Transitioning. Don't, uh, don't grip. Just let the ad deal with the get the, the empower. Oh jeez, what's going on? What up? Well, uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna explode. In the barrier? Yeah, that was my bad. I you got no to interact. So, question. When are we doing the first, like, is the first two at the, uh, during the transition? Or are we trying to aim it for at the end when we're about to kill the ads? 
uh, the first two the first two stacks should be right off the bat. Okay. Like realistically, uh, Wicked shouldn't be dying. Like both DK should be there and they should be gripping the end. And then for every other ad, we need split every single one. Yeah, we're going two stacks, then one, 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 one. But what we need to do is for this transition is bring one ad to blue, bring one ad to triangle, uh, make sure that they are not stacked on top of each other. And if both decays are there, are, uh, are alive, you grip them. Uh, I, I have no markers, so pretty much where Agramar is, a little in front of him. Yeah, right, Pre like right on the edge of his circle. Thing. Yeah, pretty much. Just grip it there, both of you, and everyone will be stacking by blue. There will be a barrier over there. Cody will be using his wing. Just burn those ads, and realistically, depending on if we if we need slows or not, uh, we should be able to kill them before the other ad are about to reach our I feel like corruption ring is almost necessary on this fight. Didn't ads need to be slowed? There's like I don't even think there's an option. Well, we could probably get those sets of ads away from the boss after you get the first two in. If you went to one side, shining forest when they got, and then went to the other side, shining forest. Because I can slow three of them by myself with a strike, but I just need the other. Like I can. Well, like, moon, like the three over here on moon stuff. Other than that, I can't do much more. I might be able to get four, but corruption ring is like just easy. It's just an automatic slow, and it'll be uh, on the ad the whole time. For the last what, 13 seconds or something. The main, the main thing about the the, the slow ring is that uh, Terry will have to manually put the corruption on all of them during the transition. Like, you would have to run around, just target one dot, target one dot, target one dot, because they won't be anywhere close to be able to see them all. Well, I mean, we could try, we could see how it is. They went in really quickly, though. Yeah, but for now, we're... If he has to do that, he's just going to have to do it, I don't know. Yeah, Either but... That or what. Yeah, well, for now, we're just going to be working on getting a smooth transition into the intermission, making sure that the ads are at the right place, that uh, they don't empower each other, and that we are just burning those ads as quickly as possible. If we are not able to do that before the ad reach Agrimar, then we're going to be using the slow ring. And from there, it will be on Steri to be able to slow all the ads that is not uh, that is not on blue and triangle. All right, everyone's ready. Five, four, three, two. One. You Stank. AoE. I took that, so I'm probably gonna die. It's going to be melee. That second tank. Yeah. Oh, you had no hope of victory. 
victory. Nothing can stop our crusade. Didn't see anything yet. Did not see anything. Got you. Three seconds move. Customized to uh, to the technique because this is something that we'll have to do also in phase two when we're going to be having blazing eruption dot on all of us and also in phase three when we're going to be burning the boss. So that that technique need to be understood and mastered by everyone. Yeah, that's what I use. I hit in pretty your hard. angry assignment for group three and group four positioning, like current positioning. Well, I just put it mostly just to spread everyone around. Like as so long I as put, like seven of the rangers on one side still. Like the the the, the group setup is mostly just so the, that. Uh, Uh, Colonel, are you good? Yeah, I yeah. Right. ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Can stand right. First tank. Second tank. A we. Then second flame. You got him. We're gonna need slopes. Nothing can stop our yeah, crusade. I saw the one to the right of blue walking in, so I gripped it back. Chains. Right, so I thought I said that we would be stacking mostly on blue, and I saw the barrier on green. So was that something that I uh, that I? Nah, I heard blue. Correct, Lang. Yeah, you said blue. All right, so all right. Barrier, blue, not green, just blue. How hard is it going to be to get both the stacks, like, at the same time, or at least, like, half a second between each other? Because they were, like, a second away from one another. Uh... Okay, so that's just, like, something we'll need with practice to get them, like, at the same time. <laughs> yeah, it's just that... We can need to, uh, at the beginning, when we're starting the transition, rather than having, like, a preemptive people all CC on the heroic, it's pretty much going to be 
wicked, you're gonna be following Critty, you're gonna be gripping. Uh, everyone else just focus on getting close towards blue, uh, all around it. And then whenever the ads are about to, to get to explode, we have all the cooldown that we need and Starry, uh, while we're doing that, uh, try to add the slow ring with, I don't know if absolute corruption will be needed because we only need the slow for only the ads just to make sure that they are actually slowed but we don't don't need us a hundred percent slow for now uh Bernard for the under trap it's they need to run over it so depending on where to spawn they may if they preemptively drop a trap uh they may not uh, not get it but they may be they could be waiting on uh, whatchamacallit, they could be waiting on where the ads are spawning, drop their trap, and then move towards us. That is something that could be done. Uh, I don't know how hunters work. Do they have the, do they all have the, the slow one? The guitar one or whatever? Yeah, yeah we have trap, yeah. trap, and also we can put our freezing trap for about the last 8 seconds. Could we do something like, uh, so say the ads are coming in and we have like a tar trap at a point where when run one, one runs over it, it would be big enough that it would hit like another one next to it. Uh, it would have to be pretty much almost where they are going to uh, to hit the boss. Gotcha. Like because I think the range on the tar trap is something like twenty yard or fifteen yard. It's really not that big. It's not big at all. So it's pretty much going to be for, for the slow. It's going to be single target slows. Get right on my side, and I will be spy. I will be popping a blizzard just to to slow them. Because the thing is, we cannot stop them. They only need to be slowed. They need to be slowed at the same pace, so that when they are curling back towards Agrabar they all are within range of being able to be mass gripped together. So they need to be moving at the same pace towards Agravar. That's going to be the, the, the fine tuning that we need to, uh, to, get work, uh, to get the work done. And the fine tuning that we're doing right now, if we are getting, the, if we are finding the right way that we're gonna be uh, dealing with it, remember it, and do it all the time consistently the same way as you would be doing it for now we're going to be testing and when we find it then we're going to be uh, we're going to be good to go all right everyone is ready five four three two one you Raid? Don't worry about it. And it's two tank, then second raid. Everyone's stepping up. I don't know if it's me, uh, Speedy, but are you just trying to go on the side rather than just uh, going straight? Straight tree? You had no hope of victory. Nothing can stop our crusade. Okay, you were at max meta range. Okay. Yeah, pretty much suck it still.
Yes. I'm pretty sure someone in Goldshire on Moongar is probably for that, Cody. I'm pretty sure. God. That place. I had no idea what it was until someone took me to that realm and took me to Goldshire. Was... I think that my innocence is being compromised with this conversation. <laughs> Of the grumbles, <laughs> like you. All right, everyone is ready. Five, four, three. Two, one. You will Take the AoE, just die. <laughs> Speedy, I was trying to bait you. I was standing like underneath him. <laughs> I should have said something. Thalfrail, you had no hope of victory. What? Nothing <laughs> can stop our crusade. I mean, I was, because I was stepping on his toes. It's nothing like a nice foot. Uh, friends, put down a mage table, please. Yeah, we can do that. Our if we can mount here. Mages are always so stingy. I have many lucky dudes coming in, right? Oh, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, have you really dropped hammers on this boss? Yes, don't ask. Okay. I will be I'm, in the focus. I'm, 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 I'm gonna need like 10 seconds. I'm, I'm Colombia, let me I have many, many. Hi, Jaws. Oh, that's right, you have your surgery, right, Steri? Uh, Speedy, you here? Yeah, sorry, I'm good. I really right. need to run in my trolling instance. Everyone's ready? Going to be tank and second flame red. Your boss for both, Necro. Tank. 
Watch out, melee. Giddy up. Confirm that we cannot take two. <laughs> Confirm, yeah. I think we might live too. Yeah, that was a just suggestion on the method video. They're like, figure out how many you need, then go from there. Yeah, for now we're just not even gonna be wasting cooldown on the at first. <laughs> we're just going to be keeping all cooldown and just use them for the intermission. So for now we're gonna go with that. For the that will be the same thing for the second set uh, for the second intermission. That will be doing the same way, but uh, from there we're gonna have to uh, gauge when we're gonna get there and save cooldown accordingly. But for now, all DPS cooldown, save them. You see how long it takes to get to uh, to the transition. If you have, let's say, a minute cooldown and such, you can probably use them at the beginning. But any two minutes, three minutes, just keep them all. Is there someone that's going to keep an eye on the um, the first two that are going in? I need to know like the exact time they're going to hit the boss to be like most effective. Uh, also, uh, yeah, think, talking about that, uh, I saw one grip. What was the other grip? Who didn't grip? And make sure that it doesn't happen again. No, we both gripped, but they were they were weird this time. And there was like one right next to blue on green side, and one another on the other side of blue on purple side. That one on it was just a little bit confusing the way they spawned. Well, they're, they're, the marker are only going to be there as reference. Just pick one that is on that on that side. So let's say that uh, uh, Critty, you're going to be taking the one between blue and purple, and that is closest to blue, and Wicked, the one that is between green and moon, closest to green. How long is it taking the ads to hit the boss after the grip, though? Like. Should be two to three seconds. Uh, can we have the DKs called grip, grip? Like whenever they do a grip, just uh, say it out loud so I know. Because like I have an eight second window for my aura mastery, and if I'm not like on point with it, we're gonna lose a ton of healing, and someone may die. Um, yeah, I'll call it. Uh, right, everyone is ready. Don't worry too much about it. So again, DPS, don't use cooldown. Same deal Five, as Kingarot, don't use four, cooldown. 
Three, two, one. You will burn! Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Technique. Melee. Tank. I got it. Tank. Here's. AoE. That is going to be second round. I'll taunt him for this. I can see how this is going to be a problem. One, two, three. Are you just wiping? Yeah, wipe it, wipe it. I was like behind him and he was facing off to the side, but he still hit on me. Okay, I I'm just trying to figure out because I know that since DKs are going to be the slowest in that scenario, would it be best for the melee that are immobile to if we have, let's say, the the, the tempest, the AOE tempest, and the second flame run for those melee to just stay out until the flame run and then move into the boss, because if you're gonna be trying to just uh, if you're gonna be trying to just move back towards the boss and trying to hit it while the flame run happen, the flame run will be behind him, so you won't have time, and the cone is wide as fuck. Well, we've got a bunch of druids. Can't we just roar them? Uh, Zesty could be Zesty could be using the roar on the way out, but on the way back, uh, there won't be one. But well, isn't it more important though to get back in than to get out? No. Because you can it's going, unity the the, it's, the AOE circle. It's going to be getting out because on the second phase, when we're gonna get there. The Searing Tempest will be empowered, and the Searing Tempest will be pulling everyone towards Agravar. So we need some speed uh, speed increase to be able to get out. Because unless... Because the only, the only one that I could see is just melee with displacement that are able to do that with either charge or shadow step. They can just get back in and be able to uh, completely ignore the second round, but for the DKs, it's going to be a problem. Uh, what do you mean, Wicked? Uh, can you elaborate? It's a big cone, so... If you're going to be getting out of the Tempest, would it just be better for you to just stay out of the Tempest until uh, until the second flame run happen, and then you move back? I know that this is a that, that this is a big DPS loss because you would probably be not DPSing for for uh, for maybe 15 plus second by the time you uh, get out of the Tempest that the second flame run happen and then that you are able to get back in get back in this would be the safer option but in terms of dps that would be a bad thing but for now dps is not going to be a problem and even then you will be keeping your rate walk for uh second phase during tempest the only way that i could see it uh being a thing wicked is considering that you know that the tempest is happening and the second flame run happen you could just rather than avoiding from behind the boss avoid on the side and then 
you can you would be free to move back uh, to move back in because you know that the flame rend will be going towards the middle. Uh, the second flame rend will be going towards the middle. That would be the only thing that I could see would work for you. Got the run over side. You cannot predict where the tanks will turn him, but the tanks will always be aiming. It, it, they will always be aiming the flame run towards the middle. It's always going to be like that. And the tank, the the, the boss should always be tanked in the vicinity of green. So take that position as it's going to be like that all the time and adjust accordingly. So dodge on the side for the for the tempest rather than dodging towards the middle. But we're, we're just still getting the ang of tanks just turning it around, but this this is going to be how with uh, how we will be dealing with the flame run and such. Yeah, I know even the DH died. But this this is the kind of this is the kind of uh, movement that this is not something that I will be able to uh, to uh, to look at, and this will be up to you to understand where we will be aiming stuff and where you should be positioning. For me, it's going to be melee on the side, uh, melee just dodge on the side for the tempest. Either sides or in front of the boss, because you know that there won't be a, a, a tank. Um, a tank slash. We're talking about like after his a. The 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 one scenario where melee are gonna get freaking uh, destroyed is if the two ending ability are the searing tempest and the second flame ran. This is what I'm talking about because for the rest, uh, th th there won't be an overlap where melee are gonna get killed. Take a red check now. So, pretty much for that scenario, you see after the second ability, you see the the the, the next three that will happen. If you see that the, the last two are AOE and second ran, just for the melee, dodge either towards moon or towards blue. Dodge in that side, just avoid the middle completely and uh we're gonna be taking the rent from there and same thing for the tanks uh if you know that this scenario happened just dodge towards the middle whoever is going to be taking the second run and then when he will be facing exactly the way that is supposed to face when you're going to be coming back Uh, just give me a second. Damn demon hunters.
Alright, uh, Valley, you here? Yeah. Alright, everyone's ready. Let's go. Going to be tank and tank. I'll take it. Take the first one. Speedy, you'll take a second one, and you're gonna be taking the brand, I guess. Second flame brand. Melee, melee. Just wipe it. Three, that's already just wipe it, wipe it, wipe it. Four, three, two, one. Such a worthless opponent Be will win. die in my wake! Fall, frail, who had no hope of victory! Nothing can stop our crusade! For that, uh, for that sequence, when we have double full breaker and second flame run, I should not even see any tank, any uh, melee DPS die. Like I said, take the hit, be in front of the boss, get parried a couple times, but don't die. Isn't that going to be like behind the boss at the same time, though? Huh? Can't they just? Depending on when it happens, can't you just run in front of the boss? I guess it's happening. Yeah, yeah. So you can either run in the front or the side. It's going to be on the on the, the melee to be able to guesstimate how the cone is because it, the cone is wide as fuck. It's much wider than the graphics, so it's going to be on the melee to uh, get a feel on it and making sure that they don't die. Oh yeah, on, the, on that one, Speedy, it was uh, it was fine. For, for now, it's only going to be the problematic of uh, Searing Tempest and Second Flame Run. But if it's going to be double tank, then Second Flame Run, melee should have all the time in the world to prepare their uh, their movement to avoid it. All right, everyone's ready. Get used to it, uh, Zesty. Five, uh, use Tempting ending four, roar for uh, three, the Tempest. Two, one. Four, three, two, one. Four. Be with God. The four is up. Technique. Tank. Melee. Going to be AoE, second tank, second raid. You'll have to do the sniper. Such a worthless opponent. Gets us the up. Four, three, two, one. Be ready. Ravenous Blade, then a way to avoid, 
Then second technique. This is my mechanic. Technique. Ally. First tank. Mine. Then second tank. Then AOE. And second break. Melee dodge on sides. I'll take it. Yeah, you gotta take the raid. Second raid. On skull. Alright, transition happening. Tasalat's power is unleashed. There. Nowhere close, holy shit. You had no hope of victory. Even with two, even Nothing with uh, one DPS dead. No, nah, not the way. Even then. When we, did, when we did the transition, we only had one DPS dead, and we barely had... Uh, we, we had one died, and the one was barely... Uh, barely killed. What's the goal there? The goal oh. there is to kill them before they reach Agrimar, and then as Agrimar is moving, the ad will be crawling towards Agrimar that is going towards Triangle, and then a Critic and Mass Grip on Skull. Uh, isn't he supposed to Mass Grip during the transition? No. No, you can't. <laughs> that way, if, if he does that, then, you know, he'll just Mass Grip them through the boss. You gotta do it after you can move the boss, so the two big ones have to be dead. Yeah, that's the pretty much what the, what veteran said. Madness is we won't be using heroism at all time during those intermissions. So if we're just using it just to see further into the fight won't solve the problem when we're gonna get to the phase that we need it. This seems like a very sensitive subject, so I'm very sorry I brought it up. Oh no, it's it's not sensitive. It's it's a question that can be asked and just answering you. So I don't know if there's multiple strats, but yeah, I just because I I was positive, like I've watched a lot of different people kill Agrimar, and I was positive it was prior to the transition, and then I just rewatched another video and it is. Uh, what? Or not it prior? Doesn't even to matter if I do grip them prior to the transition. The only thing that's going to get accomplished there is I'm just going to grip them to the same point, and they're all just still going to run into the boss. I can't grip them away. There is actually, well, if we're going to be having trouble with killing the ads in time, we could possibly just, as they are about to hit the boss, we could mass grip them. And I could ring up for us them to keep them in place for 10, to save us 10 seconds. This would be a lot of uh, management, but something that could be done. But for now, we're just going to yeah. keep trying on slowing all the ads, 
killing the killing the the big ads before uh, before the before the ads reach Agrimar. Alright, so remember, don't be a dumbass like me and don't pop cool down at the beginning. Alright, everyone's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. You, you Tank. After this, it's going to be melee, then second tank, then second marine. Range. Get tracks are up. Second right. Run away, little girl. Melee, move accordingly. You got a taunt him for this, Necro? Yep. What? Wipe it. I murdered you. Do you see where my body is? That's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I still feel like uh, with only keeping everyone's cooldown, we should be able to uh, to kill them. And uh, madness, uh, maybe for the second transition, uh, we're gonna be using second pot on the uh, on it, and then keep it risen for the last phase. I'm still. I'm still not convinced that uh, we won't be able to kill it before uh, with all DPS cooldown before we uh, before we reach it. I'm still, I still think that we're going to be able to. It's just people need to get accustomed to it and making sure that we have all DPS alive coming that transition. Right. 
Ready? Second tank and second right. Your boss with the crowd. Tank. Second right. Got it. First tank, second tank, second right. Tank. And second right. Their mission. It is the webble. It is the webble. People cannot die. You not withstand. You had no hope of victory. Nothing can stop our crusade. They don't need a reason. Don't need a second thought. All the cooldown. We're able to do it. People need to avoid the swallies. I do. Don't waste my time, lesser creature. I have many lucky doos you like. <laughs> So on the moon circle side, were all the ads slowed over there? Because I know Steri is on the purple uh, red side. Everything except for moon. Okay. And I know that the two hits happen. And I know that you're usually just outside just chilling and uh, doing your slow thing. Um, Will you need like extra, uh, extra help, making sure that you're able to survive, or why you change back? Okay, good. All right. Cronard, you here? Uh, yes. Yeah, I was just looking at the box. Ready? All right. Everyone's ready. Out. 
going to be second tank, second raid. Tank, and second raid. Then second raid. Keep boss in the raid then. Second raid. On stop. Tasteless power is unleashed. CC. Barrier. Force him. Saved. Yeah, I've seen it. Right away. <laughs> yeah, because real, realistically, my my setup was supposed to have two warlocks to be able to be one on each side, and then you can just each of you can slow them. Yeah, so this is not something that we can do. So we're going to need people on the, I would say, on the in group you know, four to be uh, helping on the slows. You don't need a slow moon side. Like, slow, like star to blue. Like, now, like orange to blue. I can get, like, the three or four over by moon, but like back towards orange, it's a little out of my reach. You're gonna be able to consistently slow them all? Yeah, I just hard strike like three or four of them. Just run back and forth between the three. Okay, so... Steri, what you'll be doing is that you'll be starting to slow uh, by star, and you're gonna be crawling, uh, starting star, red, moon... Oh, yeah. Star, red, purple, and then uh, towards us on blue. But for now, this is 9.30, I will be having the break right now, so come back in 10 minutes.
Fine. Just give us a couple minutes. We're um going to be switching tanks for a second. I'm just waiting on Jerick to log on. Just a second. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, Necro is on call and longer call than expected, so yeah, I uh, have to do some switcheries. I don't know if that's gonna work then, because my phone call was a work call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I got to it today. Shit went down. You're wrong. And now it's still going wrong? <laughs> yeah, they're asking me if I remember what happened with this. Do you know that? All right, not explaining you anything. Just gonna I be good. Watch mostly just a DPS perspective. I didn't really think I'd be tanking this. Well, you're gonna be DPSing. You're DPSing. Madness will be tanking for now. You don't want two blood DKs? Nope. Just doing the FK check. Which is so group am I in melee, I'm assuming, or melee. It's going to be the first, uh, the first soak. Because blood decays for this fight is mostly just for uh, ad management. We're only going to be using one, realistically. So uh, going with two. Again, same thing as uh, when Madness asked for heroism in the, the first transition. It's not something that will be that will be going for. So if we're going to be working on something with two blood decays, uh, we're going to be. Uh, we're gonna be stuck with that. With one, it's dwibble. So we're waiting on Terry. Terry's here. Necro, uh, not Necro. Uh, Grenade, you here? Yep. Right, so this one will be raging. Gonna go. Uh, one thing before we start, like. Yes. If the wake of flame is on someone in melee, can we decide if we're gonna um, that person's gonna bait right or bait left so we don't get people like rushing over to the opposite side? Because there was a few times that someone almost got caught by wake of flame. So if we just designate, if you get wake of flame on melee, step off to the right or step off to the left, either one. Well, they can step off on either side as long as it's yeah. not in the middle. No, that's not, I'm, I'm saying that's what we've been doing, but there are a few times that everyone went to the same side as Wake of Flame and then had to rush at the last second. Wouldn't it just be easier to, like, designate? If you have Wake of Flame and you're in melee, 
S side step left. Everyone side steps right. Yep. Can uh, we can do that? Well, backing up a few feet again is just from just DPS optimization. I'm pretty sure that. Uh, no, melee... I mean you can be in melee range, back up, still be in melee range, and wake a flame won't hit you if you stand between two of them. Yeah, I'm just saying well, like for ease of use, like if. If we always know that Wake of Flame in melee is going to go left, it should make it a lot easier for everyone else in melee. Yep. I mean, if the... other melee don't care, then if I'm the only one that's thinking about this, then I'll just shut up. No, no, no. We, uh, we can go with that. Just melee if you get it. Go on the side. If the melee is not moving on the side, then back off a couple feet and then dodge it. All right, everyone's ready. Five, four, three, two, one. You will burn! Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Stank. Can you kick Necro? Yeah, I will. Melee after this. Second tank, second right. And don't look at First tank, second tank, second right. Whoever took the first ramp, soak it. Second tank. And second right. Transition. Barrier. Barrier. Get something first. You had no hope of victory. Nothing can stop our crusade. Yeah, and also I pop cooldown like a dumbass. <laughs> Wicked, the mask grip won't be used until the end of the phase. Everything is shiny and red and yellow and orange and such, but pay attention to the ground. Even if it needs that, you have to step out of the barrier. The barrier is only there for the initial blow. The two stacks will be healed by uh, Cody and the, and the eaters. It's only for the initial uh, hit that the barrier is useful. Like Even then, for this one, if you can pop defensive just for the initial first the, the, the initial damage from the two hits, go for it.
we get a res on Trax? Uh, I tried to get one. Try again. Pending. If that overlaps happens again, I should taunt, right? No, that was fine. I just fat fingered and didn't get the right cooldown off. Did you get a new bike speedy? It's on his laptop. No yeah, I'm on my uh, laptop, sorry. I'm at my parents for the week. Well, it's it seems to be at least for the tank, it's always going to be whoever is going to be taking the first ran or the first uh, tank swipe will be taking the first of either after. Yeah, so if it's on the raid, though, it, get, it knocks back the tank, right? So that's why I was wondering if I should... Oh, yeah. Point. Almost every time it's usually recoverable. If not, just call it out and we can swap. Okay. Um, range, make sure that you are always spread. Pick a position, keep that position, and readjust to that position if you have to move from anything either from uh, positioning the blaze correctly or moving to tank the the flame ran make sure that you keep the same position and that i don't see people dying from the first tick of ravenous blaze because people are stacked on top of each other when they are not supposed to be should be treating this the same way as Scorching Blaze, but double the distance that you need to be away from people. This is the reason that we have one group on one side, the other group on the other, so that you have a lot of room to spread. At this point, at, at this point right now, it's been, what, almost two hours that we've been on this. I should not be seeing phase one deaths. 
battle. Alright, everyone's ready. We'll say an hour in Elfland. The trash and dumb dumps. Five, four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. Wait. First tank, second tank, second right. First tank. Second tank. And second right. Back to your position. Positioning. Tasselet's power is unleashed. There. And finish. This is pretty much the kind of uh, of transition that I want. Maybe two second extra and we have them fine. That's fine. Even if we have won that hit after the, the, the first two stacks, it's fine. doing food right now for progression. Well, at least tonight. <laughs> Many deals for a friend of the grumble. Based on the picture, you're on a diet. It's Empress. Here? Yeah. I'm ready. Uh, Alright. No, I'm good. Alright, everyone's ready. Keep it up. Just need more, slightly more damage on the ad. Five, four, three, two. Four, 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 four
Really? First tank, second tank, first tank, second tank. We have Searing Tempest. Get him up. Get him up quick. And second raid. So I'm gonna try it with, uh, without Zest. Second tank, second raid. Transition. Okay. Now we got two, and then like we kind of kept it for a bit, and then we got three. So it was just kind of like, yeah. Uh, madness. I guess you got clip on the first uh, full breaker. Yeah, I freaked out. That first melee one that was so close. Yeah. In the in that scenario, just be inside the boss. So, regardless if the tank is uh, maybe a little slow, or something at least all the belly will be it. I hit release on accident. I'm running back. So again, remember that the, the barrier is only there for the initial hit of the blade, the two stacks of blazing eruption. After that, uh, if you're safe staying in the barrier, fine. If not, you can move out. The dot is not going to be too bad to heal through. Yeah, there's usually going to be a giant swirl under us. Yeah, I still got plenty of healing for Aura Mastery too. The barrier just like evens it out. So if you can't make it to the barrier, don't freak out. You should live. Yeah, as long as, pretty much, the only time you should be using defensive is going to be for the initial to hit. That's pretty much the only time where there will be a big burden of damage that has a possibility of killing you real quick. The rest, everything is ill, is, is uh, illable. Alright, everyone is ready. Five, four, three, two, one. You will burn! Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. None can stand against Pesha! Run away! Then melee, second tank, second raid. Melee. Second tank. And second ring. Back in position.
Melee. Here we, then first tank. Transitioning. Okay. Yeah, that means someone stunned it. Can stop our I've definitely seen the grip go off. It wasn't big, it was so tiny. So which ad was that on the which side? Green. He uh, gripped green and it went nowhere. Okay, so if it wasn't big, like, I won't be putting blame, but we just need to make sure that no one is stunning or doing any art CC on those ads whatsoever. The only CC that we should see are slows. That's it. Only slows. No stuns, no roots, no knockdown, nothing. I'm ready. All right, everyone's ready. Uh, what's up, Frenchie? No, uh, no, nothing. Just looking to make sure that people are uh, not using cooldown at the at the beginning to make sure that they have it up for the the ad phase. That's why I'm asking. So you answer me. That's fine. Myself, then. After the technique, get wicked up. 
Second tank. <laughs> no, I can't. Nope. Wipe it twice. Thanks for me. Hey, Speedy, would it just be easier to just do your, like, four stats just for, like, the first one? Why? Just so, like, it's, like, there's, like, less confusion. I don't know, I get, con like, I, I get confused sometimes. I think it would just, like, be more beneficial for me, just for, like, the first one. Uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, 500% damage is a uh, serious business. That was definitely close though, with only 500k over, uh, overkill. But I have many, many wares. Gonna be a big bear. Too far away. Second tank. And second raid. First thing is gonna be yours, man. That's whatever it is. Technique. Melee. First tank. Second tank. Then AOB. Then second raid. Watch out, melee. Transition. <laughs> oh my, that was the worst you time to lag out. Back to position. Beware. Uh, it has been done. That's where you will start doing the ad management. The sound of my horsey being punted through the air. I don't 
Four, I three, can wipe this. Two, one. None can stand against Tashalak! Fall, frail mortal! See that that Tempest is just dragging us. That's when we're gonna be having a, a rotation of Stampeding Roar with Zesty you and no Speedy. Victory. Nothing can stop our crusade! So when we get to phase two, first one will be uh, will be Speedy. Uh, not Speedy, will be Zesty. So make sure melee that you're staying always together so that you are within range for the stampeding roar if you have any other movement speed that you want to use go for it uh, and when we're going to be on the ad management phase two position same as phase one you're when we're going to be done with the ad phase you revert back to your phase one positioning and you do the same exact thing the only thing that is going to be different, you will be having to dodge Blaze. You make sure that you are far away so that the Blaze will never be in the middle and they are going to be nowhere close to the ad to make sure that they don't get catalyzed. So on this one, uh... Uh, what should we call it? Uh, Critty, did you just mask grip right at the end of the phase, just before the second ad died? Yeah, I, I was more so mask gripping to save them from going in. Okay. Have them just die at the same time. Yeah, because I probably fucked that up because the ad that was going towards blue, I used a ring of frost because I panicked on it. So yeah, there was one going out. Yeah, th that one that did not get mass grip was my bad, so I'll just won't do that. Right. And I'll let you do your thing. And uh, after they're slowed and stuff, like nobody pad on them, nobody kill them, just keep them slow. Nobody stun them, don't do anything. Pretend they're not even there. If anything needs to be killed, I'll call it out. Yep, so pretty much for phase uh, four, after the first transition, the only one that should be talking is me, Critty, and the tanks. Aside from that, there should be no one else that will be talking because Critty is probably going to be the main voice there because he will be calling when he's going to be needing a, a, an ad gripped into the boss or he is going to be needing a, a pushback, a, a typhoon or a shining force. So pay extra attention to what Critty is going to say. Is there a way with LVI to not have nameplates like back up on top of each other? No, I don't think that's okay. At the, at the thing, because even with tidy plate, they're gonna stack like that. Right. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna take that one the first thing. Watch out. Nothing can stop our crusade! 